Hello, this is a honest review about the DFRC ghost or micro spirit or micro ghost or mini spirit or mini ghost. I don't know the name because every seller names it how they want, and that's crap. So, the wallet itself comes with a micro flight controller which I, I have removed because my big ass. Grabner Gear 16 didn't fit inside. Even if I, even if I dig some bit in the in the latch or the hat. So yeah, I installed yes. Also, I have installed some more neodymium magnets. I trimmed this part because it has a. A stinger, or well, a thing that prevented it from from lifting and, and losing it in in the air. So well, <clears throat> I changed uh, the servos. These are bigger, bigger servos than the original. Uh, um, yeah, why not? Let's remove this. Let's remove this thing. So I didn't glue it up anyway. So who cares? Fucking go! No. This is tight. Oh my god! Crap! Yeah, nasty glue is nasty. So the, these are the the servos I saw. I don't know the the, the measure for it, but it's uh, three point seven grams, and it measures about. About 29 millimeters, uh, 29 millimeters horizontal, and about including the horn, uh, 25 millimeters tall, with a depth of 20. Uh, sorry, uh, 15, 17. 17 millimeter, so it's, it's really small. But the ones install permits installed in this thing or even smaller. And well, I do not recommend this plane at all. Like, you better go for a bigger one or just get a, a drone. Yeah, go for a drone. I just noticed that this receiver. With <clears throat> its M12 Rubner transmitter through the menus, and I'm not going to go deep into that because, well, just just <clears throat> go in another another review on them also on this too, or even better get the year 18, or even better get the the M12 Pro. Or higher, or higher levels. So, but yeah, this is the medium, medium quality priced stuff. So, uh, yeah, that, that's what I bought. So, yeah, well, the thing is that you can configure a, um, a plane with, with normal plane, um, different fuel thrust to engine our plane, and. Um, Flying wings, not this, <laughs> they're a real flying wing, not this ship. And also, you can configure some quadcopters and, and stuff. I just figured it out yesterday while doing some research. Uh, well, the thing is that I throw it in the air, the, the mini wing or the, or the ghost wing, or whatever the shit this is called. And I just saw it in the air. It had yesterday. It had today not an engine. Um, I don't remember the oh, there is the box. Yeah, there is the box. And game fan with uh, 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 three one o o kb o k b. I had this three blade propeller with its uh, three by three by three props. So 
yeah, for it's true, three three three, the number of the of the not beast. <laughs> and well, I just threw it in the air, push my follow up, and this thing just went spinning out of control to the right side. Fun stuff because the engine goes to the left, so in that case the torque will will do it roll it in, in the in the in this uh, same direction of the of the roll of the uh, of the propeller, but no, it just did rolls to the right side without any type of control, and yeah, my if you're going to to buy this seat. I didn't recommend it all, but anyway, if, if, if you like it, you saw the videos on the internet about this seat, well, the, the only two videos, I think. This is going to be the third. And... You see that the guy throws it in the air, throws it up, and yeah, it's super fast, there's a beetle, uh, how, how to say, snappy control. It just so fast moving, so fast turning. I don't like my, my planes like that, but yeah, I wanted to experiment with some new stuff, so I went from trainer to glider, and yeah, it's always slow, and I needed some fast thing to have fun, and, and, and do some aerobatics and stuff, yeah, because it's supposed, it's supposed this thing can do aerobatics, but not the case, not the case because it, can, it cannot even fly without the, the flight controller. So, the flight controller, uh, it's not here anymore, I just... I used to gift it to my uncle. Uh, yeah, first of all, you have seen the big ass connector in here. Well, they're not big ass, it's a normal connector from, uh, from servo. And, well, the, the, uh, the controller has some connectors similar to this. I hope my city laptop camera talks it well. But yeah, you get the idea. It's in small. Well, the 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 connector on the yeah a bit better. The connector on the on the flight controller was was even smaller than the, than that. I bet it was half or or two thirds. Who okay. cares? Well, it didn't fit, and and I cannot configure it. And also, it was by the using the S bar system. And my receiver and controller uses the PPM system, and it's a small ass, tipas, tiny grade stuff. Yeah, you know, my love for China is, grow is growing even bigger since it, the COVID 19. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I don't fucking care. Yeah, I, I will just remove the servos along while doing this. So, I can. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. This video is gonna be fun. You, just wait for it. Just, just wait for it. You will see soon. So it's spinning out of control without the without the, the flight controller. But hey, I didn't have a, a way to install the flight controller anyway. So because I have the Grabner, I know it's good quality. I know it's it's good stuff. It's also expensive, and I didn't want it to to get another receiver with another transmitter um, they suggested in, in the, all the sellers on the Aliexpress and that they, they suggested you to get the FR Sky or the Tana, Taranis or Tanaris, I don't know how to spell that shit but, or some Tamiya, uh, sorry, some Futaba some Futaba transmitter and receiver with, with those mm, small as micro micro receivers from of nowadays and yeah I, I think smaller is better because the less weight you put in your airplane the better it will fly or or the most efficient or the most efficient it will fly as you don't need um the requirements of of big rendering or or I mean, you just fly more time or more fast or whatever yeah performance, to get better performance with that weight. So what, uh, my servos are now extracted from this thing. I'm gonna put the lats on. And yeah, well, sorry about the, the blah blah blah. And the loosening of the control, but yeah, that cannot loosen a control. Then I thought, 
What if it's running that way because of the engine uh, not being the one with come with the kit? Because it's, I swap the engine because I burned it out. Yeah, so yeah, I burned it out. And so the thing, uh, I just throw it, no power, no throttle, and it, it keeps spinning. So what the fuck? I think, okay, let's stream. Let's use the, our trims in the receiver and trim it to the other side so it will not spin. Ha, my wish. I trimmed it and the fucking thing spin it a bit slower. But yeah, I thought, yeah, it needs some more trim. And I trimmed it more to the left, uh, being precise to, to full left trim. And it keeps spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. So I don't know if if the videos of the sellers on the Aliexpress they just use, use another flight controller or a modified version of this, like for example the profile is different or the card something on some shape on the bottom or some other shape in the top uh, so the profile changes because flight controller is supposed to using the servos to move the control horns okay obviously stuff to make slight changes tons of times per second like thousands of or, yeah hundreds of times per second to maintain the airplane level but I think there is no controller in the world capable of yeah I, I do it slow but it was like super fast like about in a second it it did about 13 or 14 turns in a second it was insane it was insane no way to control that even with a controller. So I think that I think they modify this. I think they modify this. And I think they use a different plane. So basically, they're cheating on us. They scamming us. And so I will snap this shit. Oh fucking EPP4. EPP4. Well, it will break soon or later. They just need enough rates. Hatred for China. Seed cheap stuff. Let's on land, my friends. Do not do not ever buy China Chinese crap stuff. Because they don't deserve money. So if you have a friend that's able to buy live planes. Any type of fire pool. Just go for it. Yeah. Scrap fist. Just go for it. Tell your friend, hey, please make me a flying wing. Or make me a big ass airplane. Or make him a or make me a small airplane. Or make me something that can fly well without a fucking flying controller. Or even if if you want to do FPV. Or you just need the the return home or that kind of stuff that usually the, the flight controller comes in nowadays. Why not? If you want the flight controller, okay, put it. I, I love the flying controllers. I mean, it's insane. You get too, you get too far and you lost the signal radio or not even that far. I mean, I have another plane. I have the multiplex mantle with his one, uh, sorry, one six three centimeters wingspan is big as our plane. Okay, not so big as, but it's really big, like almost taller than me. <laughs> and that plane flies fly so well. But yeah, once you hit thirteen meters, or th three hundred, sorry, three hundred meters, meters, you don't see that thing, even almost being two meters long, uh, two meters wingspan. You don't have you don't have the, the ability to, to see it. You cannot see it. 
So, in that case of losing the airplane, you just have your, your flight controller and using your control on the receiver, uh, on the transmitter, you, you go and that, hey, make a return to home and the airplane will, will, will not be so, maybe the S310 or something, yeah, the S3. Maybe the S3 and the plane will, and the plane will turn around Obvious stuff, okay. Plan them to turn around and go straight to you to the point of launch or to your home or whatever controller or, or um, autopilot software you use on, on, your, on your controller. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you need a GPS module and maybe some, maybe some uh, PyTorch tube or TPS speed is good. Why? Why overload the plane with, with excessive amount of, of heavy weight that you don't know? So you pull them. You pull the, your, your. Yeah, I love forgotten words in English when I'm doing an English video. Yeah, that's okay. So that. Yeah, that thing. You pull it and you activate it, and the plane will return to you and. Do it in circle over the point of launch until you regain control. So you plug, you pull that, and you have control again, and you fly it and you land it. So imagine, for example, even in Warbirds, you throw about 500 euros in a Mustang or or, or even or even bigger planes like a like a B17 or. <clears throat> Or my beloved P38, which I love. I love twin engines. I love twin tails. I love flying wings. Well, I love it a lot. Though. It's only, you know, <laughs> I love it for an airplanes, except for the quadcopters. <laughs> but those are no airplanes. Are aircraft, not the same thing. And you can control. So you imagine that you throw a bunch of euros on a, a big as a plane of, of a cool plane, and just by a mere mistake of you. You don't want to lose it. You just activate your return to launch or the return to home, and the plane will happily return to you, and you see it coming to you. And oh, I'm safe. The plane is safe. I'm gonna land it. I'm gonna land it. Relax for a bit. Taking some water, smoking some cigarette. If, if you smoke, don't smoke. Please, I don't recommend smoking on channel. Even if I do, <laughs> not a good, cool, not a cool thing. So, you land it, you relax, and then you swap the battery, or or um, refuel with gasoline, or, or whatever com uh, type of fuel you use in your airplane, and you're good to go. Again, once you are relaxed, so you take off again, enjoy your hobby, enjoy having fun with this video shit. This video shit. Hey. <laughs> I'll be broke. <laughs> I don't have a take two. <laughs> I don't have a take two. Well, the last is now going to. Nothing more to break. Except for that. Don't do it in a Chinese stuff. Go for quality stuff. And if you have the opportunity to, to get, uh, if you are in the USA, go buy, invest your box in, in your homeland. In the manufacturers on the, of your homeland, they will really appreciate it. Um, also, if you're European, do the same thing. Go for at least because now this is uh, almost impossible. If if you have the chance to buy locally buy uh, locally manufactured stuff, go for it. If you cannot. Um, Okay, Boy Grabner, for example, is a good brand, high quality stuff, or even I don't know, Multiplex, which is also very high quality stuff, and I love it. I love it. Grabner Multiplex for me is a perfect combo. I got my my M12 Grabner, my propellers are Grabner, yeah, big ass propellers because I have the the Multiplex Manager, which is a towing airplane. It's always 
yeah, this big school and I overpowered it and I can do aerobatics <laughs> with it now. It's not a it's not a trainer anymore. Well it flies like a trainer. It flies like a tower. You can tow. Well I, I cannot throw tow because I didn't install the servo system for for towing up. But yeah. Uh -uh. Install a tow and airplane. A tow and line, I mean. But it's, it was the same for that. Um, so I overpowered it. And now I can go helicopter with it. <laughs> I'm some kind of. All kind of aerobatics and stuff. And it's fucking fun to fly the thing. I love it. I love my multiplex mentor. Pirate with my Robner. Yeah, they both are made in China, but at least are European brands. In case of, of, of the USA, I will recommend the, the, the same thing. And now there is a, a another, another. Oh no, let's that, that's talk about in in the next video, or maybe if there is a next about our brands. Yeah. Uh yeah. Next video, more airplanes. <laughs> See ya, and do not subscribe to this one shot <laughs> mistake <laughs> channel because it's only one shot and no video editing at all. It's just a city camera and some goy random leaks speaking senseless stuff about their prints, guitars, um, scale modeling. Not so much of scale modeling, but yeah, I did. And so. See ya!